Three six box PYT hundred. Good luck. Finishes this case, guys. Finishes this case. Oh wow, this is even worse. Need a new blade. That's right. I got into the flow on this the other week. How you been, Dale? What's new, brother? Go, Jacob Wilson, go. Dale, you gotta help me sell my X-Men 1 comic. I think it's time I gotta sell it. I think I'm gonna go, I think I'm gonna go use that money and go use it for national money. Either that or I might just bring it to the national with me. Anybody looking for an X-Men 1? CGC 1.8? Not the best looking copy, but yeah, I mean, I'll give them a solid deal. I'm gonna lose money on it anyway. I paid quite a bit back then. I don't know what it's worth now. It's like it was one of those things where I didn't have to sell it, but now I want to sell it. I think I'm gonna use it to buy more Jacob Wilson's. I think I'll buy one more Jacob Wilson and then the rest will go towards my wedding. I promise. I promise. I might be making false promises, though. <laughs> are you um, are you coming to Front Row Card Show, Dale, next week? She always listens. No, if I, if I actually, honestly, if I got to name, uh, if I have a son, oh, nice, it's a YJ's, if I have a son, it would be along the lines of Titus or Axel, or it'd be like one of those kind of names, definitely going to have a Hawaiian middle name, that's like, that's like family tradition almost, all of us have Hawaiian middle names, so... Probably have a Hawaiian middle name. I like Axel Titus. I like, uh, I like females. Females would be hard for me. I like Sophie. Sophia. Sophie is a nice one, though. I like Sophie. Sophie is one of my favorites, I would say. That's like, that's up there for me. What else? What else is what is some good Titus the Big Show Hammer? Oh boy. I would not name my daughter Nebula. <laughs> what is it? Guardians of the Galaxy? <laughs> no, she got but it, it's gotta have a pretty name to it, you know what I mean? Like like and I, I'm not saying this isn't pretty names, but it can't be like a Rachel or a Jennifer or a Sarah. Like it's gotta have a my last name is two words. It's Kim Sue. So, unfortunately, she's gonna inherit my Chinese last name. <laughs> no, I'm good. I would not be calling my girl Nebs. Hey Nebs, grab your grab your phone out of the TV remote. Nebs, stick out the trash. Nebs, come rub my feet. <laughs> Nebs, you better not be talking to no boy, God funny. <laughs> Give me your cell phone. <laughs> Give me your cell phone, Nebs. <laughs> Let me go look. Who's John? <laughs> Little Nebbies. <laughs> Little Nebbies. Beulah? Nebu Aloha Alola? I... No. <laughs> I like that little Nebby would be cool. That she would have two career options in her life. One, she could either be like a rap star, little Nebby in the house, or 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 she could compete with little Debbies. 
I make the best pre-packaged apple pies and I've never had Little Debbie's in my life and I will probably never eat it in my life. But if Little Nebbies wants to compete with Little Debbie's, we got action. <laughs> so she got two career paths with that kind of name. <laughs> I probably prefer the apple pie route. <laughs> No, hell no. I, I, pro I would never try it. I don't really like that kind of stuff. That's why I like. I don't really like. Obviously, I'm I'm a big boy. Don't get me wrong. A lot of this is cheeseburgers, steaks, white rice, french fries. It's definitely not from the cheesecakes. Which I, I will admit, I've definitely had the most desserts in my life over the past one and a half years. I've probably had more desserts in the last year and a half than I've done in like the last 15 years, 20 years combined. Which does speak volumes for someone like me. <laughs> I've never had Little Debbie's. You know, I never learned about it because apparently Little Debbie's is a big thing here stateside, I guess, in the States. I didn't know that. One of my coworkers was like, oh, you didn't have Little Debbie's? I'm like, who is Little Debbie's? And they all looked at me dumbfounded. We didn't have that. We have Love's Bakery. Have you guys ever heard of Love's? There is a Love's Bakery, but in Hawaii, we had our own Love's Bakery, which is separate, I think. But, like, if you go to Utah and stuff like that, there is there is a Love's Bakeries out there that actually has, like, a, a rest stop, I think. And it has, like, similar text. Yeah, 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 love, love trucks. Yeah, yeah, the, the, the truck stops. Yes, yes, yes. So, so we had, we used to have. They recently closed down a couple years ago, but we used to have a Love's Bakery, and they used to make like the powdered donuts, and all that kind of stuff. Dude, there's a lawsuit against King's Hawaiian Bread because they market it as made from Hawaii when they're when they're California based. <laughs> There was recently a lawsuit on that too. Food, I miss Foodland too, Dale. It's been, I haven't been home in three years. And I have, Dale, I have like a really good friend. She's been, I've known her since like intermediate. Her, her, her wedding is that Saturday when we're going to the national. And I had to choose between going to her wedding or meeting all of you guys at the National. And unfortunately for her, I, I'm, of course I'm choosing you guys, but I feel, I feel terrible. I feel beyond terrible. Because I was supposed to MC her wedding. Like I knew her and her family like for so long. They're coming to my wedding in November, but I'm not going to theirs, so. I feel kind of bad about that. Don't get me wrong. I do. Hell yeah, I feel bad. I was supposed to MC their wedding. I was supposed to MC actually, I think like a week ago, last week Sunday. One of my friends in Hawaii it was their first. Uh, their baby girl's first birthday party. I was supposed to MC that event, but I didn't do it neither. I haven't MC'd in like a long time. <laughs> I took it out today, all sports. <laughs> you don't understand, bro. I'm a typical man. I'm a typical guy when it comes to those things. I go home. I, like, feed my dogs, make sure they got water and stuff. <laughs> Even if I ate already, I'll open up the fridge, look at what's in the fridge, hoping that there's just something that magically appears. <laughs> I'll go shower as soon as I get home.
Sometimes I gotta poop before I shower. Then after I shower, I'll go, I'll go to the fridge, drink a water, drink a soda, drink a Powerade, I'll find something. Hit the couch, you know? I need like that. No, before a shower, you take a shit. Taking a shit after a shower makes me want to shower again. I don't, I, I don't hide, I don't hide anything. There's, you know, honestly, you know, I tell people, some people tell me TMI, some people tell me shut up and stuff like that. But you know what? If you guys know me as a person, know what to expect. Because if you don't like me, that's totally cool. Like me and you don't got to be friends. We don't got to talk. We don't got to hang out. But I'm not going to, I'm not going to come on camera day in and day out and bullshit with you guys and be like, yeah, hey, I, I will, I'll totally go lift weights with you guys or I'll totally go to the bar show up and then be like oh i don't want to go to the bar uh second half of the case nick second half i mean what i say i say what i mean and most importantly i always try to do right try to you know what I do need again, though? I do need a side hustle again. That's that's what I'm looking for. I always had that side hustle or side hobby that always keeps me, like, busy. So it's like, oh. Like, before it was breaking, you know what I mean? You break. I go to regular work, and then I come home, and then I look forward to breaking. Can't go snowboarding in summer unless I go south of the equator, which that's not happening. That's definitely not happening. All cards ship on this one, guys. All cards ship. David Wright on the refractor. Is that damage? Oh, yeah, that's damage. All right. Here's an orange. Does it have ink? It does not. To 25, it's Laureano for the Guardians on the orange. Hermo Monster? Why why is that? Oh shit. Hold on. Restart. I'm over here not looking for rookies. Extractor of Reynolds. Mini diamonds. To 150. It's our boy, Shea Rangarears. I assume so. Yes. <laughs> no, as you always come out of nowhere, Wade Boggs. You always come out of nowhere and you crack me up. Blue the mini diamonds of Rosario to 199 Padres. 
I know there's no guaranteed autos a box. I remember that. Evan Lee on the refractor. Vlad Sr. Tops logo of Walker to four ninety nine. Another orange. This looks like it has ink. For the Pirates, it's an orange auto of Swaggerty that came out late that goes to Laudo. Jimenez. Wow. Out of nowhere, the 100. It's Catfish for the A's. Athletics on the board are two. Judge on the refractor. Was that a scratch on that? Oh, yeah. A little bit of a scratch on that judge. Oh. This box did not have nice quality control, unfortunately. Morale to 499. Cubbies. Jeez, I missed a lot of rookies. Let me go double check my base pile here. Whoops. That was not my base pile. Kramer was building levels? Who's Kramer? Why am I excluded from this conversation? Who's Kramer? Mayor Blue. Wow, another auto. Before he was with the Giants, he was a rookie for the Athletics. That's cool as hell. 64 of 99. It's Barry Zito. The big man on the hill. That's someone that Noah's would appreciate. Mencis. X Factor Strider. Blue of Jazz to 199. That's cool. First Zito auto I've pulled in a while. Noah's would appreciate the Zito out of nowhere. I know he would. I don't even know what I just said, honestly. On oh, a nice side hustle. Yeah, side hobby hustle. Yes. I got to get back to eBaying and, and going to like garage sales and stuff. That's what I got to do. Duran, the $4.99. Rangers. Oh, no, no. Like, we're talking about Kramer from... Seinfeld, because I remember that there was an episode where I didn't know what a proctologist was because I was very young, by the way. Oh, Hoppy. I was very young, and I remember his license plate said Ass Man on it. And I used to always laugh when I seen that. Ooh. 75, it's Hanager. I used to always laugh because I was like, ooh, Ass Man. The D train, Dontrell Willis for those Marlins. Ted Williams. To 50 gold, it's Medina. This is an athletics break right now. The ass man. Yeah, see, I remember that. And I remember dying of laughter because I was like, oh, that's a cool license plate. You don't understand, like, when I moved back to Vegas and I bought my Outback two years ago, a little bit over two years ago, I literally 
sat there and I was like, what am I going to name my license plate? So in Hawaii, we can do six letters. In Nevada, you can do seven, but if you do specialty plates, some plates is five, some plates is six characters. So for one of my favorite license plates in Hawaii was Big Opu. O-P-U was the spelling, Big Opu. Opu basically means stomach, and you know, I'm a big boy, so I always wanted to do that, but somebody already has that license plate here in Vegas. So I was like, oh shit. I ended up naming my car Biggie, B-I-G-G-Y, because that's my dad's nickname. I don't know why, I don't know what for, but my dad always had a nickname of Biggie. His real name is Carl, but his nickname is Biggie. So I, I was like, oh, I guess I'll name my car after my dad. That's a cool name. Because I can only have five characters on my plate. Box three. Orange wave to 25. It's jokes for the Strohs. Strohs was one of the last teams off on the kill. Jeremy? No, I can't use Hawaii plates in Vegas. I have Raiders plates. Gonzalez on the X-Fractor. The big unit to 150. It's Randy for the Diamondbacks. Showtime. Oh, I thought that was ludicrous real quick. <laughs> kind of look like Luda. To 199. It's Ruiz again. Athletics. Have a break. Cavalli to four ninety nine Cor Corbin J Rod. Hello. To 10, it's William Contreras for the brew crew out of nowhere for me. Dale gets that one. 4 of 10 on the Contreras. Auto is in Jigba to 199 Pirates. Jock Peterson to 100. Derek Hall on the refractor. Oh, I thought that was severely off. I mean, I thought that was really poorly cut. <laughs> Sam, it's very close. I'm going to try and push it. It's close, but we do got a couple of the big spots. I think it goes. I'll give a little bit of deals like I've been doing, Sam. And obviously, you know, we still got plenty of time to get it off. I'll give it at least another 30 minutes, which I think is fair overall. Yeah, he, dude, Corbin fell off the wagon. I don't know what exactly it was. I, I'm not, like, truly watching. But, yeah, he fell off the wagon. Which is good for me because I kind of want to PC a little bit of him regardless, you know. Got to get a nice card for the wedding. I still need to do that. I didn't do that yet. <laughs> Can't wait for Jacob Wilson, though. Jacob Wilson needs the call up. Probably going to wait till September. Or at early, if, if they did call him up early, it'd probably be after All-Star break. But hard to do in last place. I understand that. So realistically, probably next year. So 
Swanson on the logo fractors to uh, 499. Base auto, it's Josh Smith for the Rangers. There's Ashcraft, Caron PC piece, Volpe base. Green of Prado to 99. Wang. Larkin of 499 for the Reds. X Fractor of Cattell Marte. Wheeler to 75. Philly. I know the question is, is I don't know if I should sell when he calls up. I don't know if that's, I mean, obviously you always sell the hype, right? But it's like, I mean, I'm going to keep some PC hits, but like, I kind of want to upgrade it. You know what I mean? So it's like, it's one of those things where I don't know if I sell. Oswaldo Cabrera, Yankees to $4.99. I don't know if it's something where I sell some of the excess black autos I have or, and trade up. But I don't really want an orange. Macy to 75. Kansas City. I'm still going to keep. Don't get me wrong. It's not like I'm trying to flip all of it. It's just. I don't know if it's good to flip some of it. And then upgrade or. Because I like the black. And the only thing I would really upgrade to. Is like a true gold. It's practically all I would upgrade to. I don't really like orange, to be honest. That's not my jam. I don't really like a lot of orange cards, to be honest with you. All right. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure it depends on the hype too. Right to sustain. Right, 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 right. Well, I bought kind of high. I bought him a little bit high. Like, I paid, I know I paid, I got a couple small deals. Because, like, his price is already shot up when he got called up to AAA. So, I paid that AAA premium. But his black, his black Bowman, um... Sutter, his Black Bowman Autos is a uh, very low pop. So, Jeter Downs on a base auto. That's probably one of my least favorite autographs there. This class. Jackie Robinson on a blue to 199. Sandberg to 499. Sears to four ninety nine. I honestly thought that was an actual extra auto at first because it was so thick. Perfect case being Jackson Holiday. Yeah, that's true. How did his prices do? How did his prices do? When he got caught up and then obviously when he got sent back down because I know he was struggling. Moreno to 50 on a rookie. Yeah, and then when he got caught up, obviously I know he went 04 something. And it took him like over a week, maybe even a little bit longer for his first hit. Garcia. Now they are in the toilet. All right, that's not what I want to hear. I got a Rangers Nolan Ryan in there. I'm not sure. Did I pass one? Let me look.
Not that I see. Oh, oh, you're asking me to pull one. Oh, my bad. I thought I skipped one or something. Swanson to four ninety nine. Like I told you, I'm not great with the, ah Taj Bradley. Our autos came early on those last couple right there, guys. Corbin. Alcantara on the green wave. Morale on the <clears throat> refractor, excuse me. Royce Lewis to 150. Roshans. Shea Langoliers to 75. And our last stack, guys. HTA is probably going to be next. We'll focus right on HTA right after this, guys. Nelson. Want to at least get off HTA, guys. Bare minimum. 75, it's Will Benson. Cabrera to 99 on the green. And we end... I think I see one more parallel. Oh, it's Delgado. And that was the break. Oh, nice. Recap coming, guys. All cards ship on this. Any other hot rookie prospects aside from James Wood, obviously. I know he's he's going off right now, too. Anyone else? Skeens is going off, too. Sorry, my bad, Cap. I didn't have a fresh case. I was kind of locked into this one right here, so obviously I apologize there. Not that I recall, Cap. If it's numbered, it'll be right here in this recap. I don't recall having a Met, though. I'm sorry, Cap. Not the way I want to do you wrong. Nor do I want to do anybody wrong, for that matter. But you know what I mean. They're pretty rough. Ah, I don't like hearing that. All right. Fortunately, that was the second half of the case for me, guys, so. I'm glad I gave you guys some deals there at the end, then. How's that? I'll do a little bit of deals on HTA to get that off. At the minimum, HTA should go. At the bare minimum, guys. Uh, you know, I, I want to hit for you guys. I'm not here every day. Of course, I'll be here Wednesday for Tier 1, guys. So definitely come Wednesday. Let's save some ammo for some monster tier one pools. I'd be very happy if we do that. And our autographs, guys. Barry Zito 
and an orange of swagger tea. Break.